Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is how to make a little beautiful clownfish anemone in a box frame. Now I think it's a little bit hard to see. I'm going to try and tilt it up or maybe flat it down flat. And then you can see it brilliantly and it's just um, a fantastic idea. We came up using our brand new clownfish marini, our anemones our sea urchins and our shell marini and making this beautiful piece that goes in a lovely box frame. So the first thing you need to do is, um, I'm using our floral, um, autumn floral stringers which are quite orange at the moment, they um, do range in colour um, and you want to create a kind of basically what looks like a, a sea anemone with them so I'm just using my glue I should have shares in. I suppose the amount of money we all spend on bullseye glass, we all feel like we should have shares in it. And you're just sort of building up. And this takes a while. You need to build up quite a layer of this. So I'm going to build this up and then you can come back to me when it's nearly done. So now I've created this anemone um, and I've sort of tried to kind of curve it this way so you feel like the water is flowing through it. But um, I've got some other scrap here. I want to sort of create a type of, sort of base. I probably should have created the base before I created the anemone, but you know, I never want to do it sensibly. And I'm very much putting these down the haphazard fashion. This is some scrap I have sitting around. It's sort of quite kind of interesting. Feels a bit like rocks. So now I've got that there, I want to sort of decorate this and put these, which are sort of like sea anemones, sea anemones, oh, wow, I have a problem saying that today, um, on there. So it feels like there's sort of little anemones around the big anemone. I've got to try and make sure this is all touching. Um, I'm going to have to try and get a pair of tweezers to pick that out within a second. Um, I really want one totally hidden. Um, I'm going to put some starfish in. Again, that one's a bit hidden. Let's build it up a little bit. Starfish. It's kind of crazy 3D piece going on here. It's a bit experimental. Let's see how it goes and looks in the end. Another starfish. And then the pièce de résistance are Nemo's. So, sorry, can't say that. Our clownfish. So you're going to need to make sure that the clownfish are nicely secured in amongst. Oop. And it is a tricky task to get them where you want them. So one down here, a slightly less pretty one. Tail showing, and then we've got some little baby ones that we just put around and about. Yep. It's a fiddly job. I 
And you might want to do this in the kiln because transporting it out of the kiln is going to be hard now. And then at the end, I might even put a couple more stringers on top, just over some of them to one, help hold them in place and two, to really give that feeling that they're in amongst the anemone. and sort this one out but I think I'll probably put him on when him her uh, when we're in the kiln and get those in so this is going to go in the kiln it's going to go on a um, a very slow long tack fuse I'm putting a bit of green in here just because I feel like I want a bit of the contrast of green in with the um, everything else um, and this is just the mint green it. But as I was saying, um, yeah, very long, slow fuse, very long, slow nail. And once I've got this in the kiln, I'll probably add a few more, um, uh, add a few more clownfish and add a few more um, stringers. Sorry, my brain is tired this afternoon. So this will go in and the firing schedule will be at the end. To also go in the frame with the clownfish and anemone, I want to do some little rocks that kind of sit off to the side of it. So just on a piece of thin fire, I'm going to tack fuse together some more of this scrap I've got, which is sort of like rocky bits. I probably want two or three different areas that I can use. Um, some larger, some a bit smaller. I definitely want some that are kind of flatter and not so sticking up so much. Um, and then I'm going to sort of add to them um, kind of the same sort of things as I had in the um, in the main piece. So these are just sort of little rocky bits because the main piece is sitting up from the um, the bottom piece of glass so it gives a 3d effect whereas these will go directly on it so i want to put some of this mint green Just adding more glue mostly for speed some more of this green Consistency and kind of colour and texture of the other bit. Also helps hold it all together. And then I want to add some of the other things like these anemones, which are almost like sea urchins. So they could be anemones, they could be sea urchins. Um, also I think I might add a shell here and there. I've also got some pink shells. Put those on. Um, and pretty much that sort of is all I need. I might see whether I can persuade one or two of these to. in place and then that will go in on a tack fuse now on a full fuse um which i'm well I've, I've got some already made so if you have that's great if not i just want to full fuse some clear tector into frit balls so this is just three millimeter clear tector i'll take up to a full fuse and full fuse them into frit balls i want some of different sizes so some pieces larger some pieces smaller 
if you have available coarse frits, you might just want to put some coarse frits on a an inner corner on a um, next time you're putting a full fuse on. Get those ready for this project as well. Hi guys, I'm really sorry. We realised we had a technical error and one part of the video didn't film. Now we can't refilm it because it's already glued. It was showing you how once we got the pieces out of the kiln, how we glued it to the back of this piece of blue um, light turquoise glass. Now we can't refilm it, so I'm just going to talk you through the process and hopefully that will give you enough understanding to make so you can see how it's done. So to glue things, I use this Araldite two-part um, crystal epoxy. Please take a screenshot if you want to buy it. You can see the brand right there. Um, I, you, when I'm doing it, I mix it up in equal parts and I mix for about a minute. It kind of can go a bit cloudy and then it goes clear and then you know it's good to use. But set a timer for a minute. That will always be, always want to over mix it rather than un under mix it. So to get this, as you can see, it's got a sort of raised, um, the piece is raised off the back to give it this kind of 3D feel. Now to create that, I took three pieces of six mil glass, they're about two by two centimeters, and one piece of three mil glass, two by two centimeters. Now, because actually this piece is gonna have viewing from the back, I slightly wish I'd made these a bit more aesthetically pleasing. They're a little bit rough around the edges. You could, I could have also maybe tried to line them up or even sort of done them in with the color so I could have made this more orange and this more kind of rocky color but um, you know hindsight's a great thing so I glued the six mil and the two three mil pieces together the reason why I chose six and three mil was because I wanted depth off the back of here but I don't want to come too much into the box frame so that the whole piece won't fit and for me that felt like I was getting a good amount of depth but not coming too close to the front of the frame um, I glued the two pieces of glass together first. I then glued, once they had set and gone off, I glued them to the piece. So to the two here and one here, onto the orange and the rocks, let that set. And once that had set, I then glued the whole one, two, three pieces to the blue glass. So it was glass together, glass to the piece, and then piece to the backing glass. That was the order I did it in. And then finally, there are these six other pieces that were built, um, that were um, done in the kiln separately. And I then sort of aesthetically pleased, pleasingly put them on the piece, how I decided them wanting to look to make like, so it really gives you this 3D feel because this is raised up and these are off. It sort of gives more depth and texture to the piece. And I glued those on separately at the end. The bubbles, I do have a video of gluing those on, so you'll be able to see those next. I hope that answers it and makes it clear how the piece was attached to the backing glass. The backing glass was cut to the size to fit the frame, um, and that was done in the, in the front. So we also need to put a few of these bubbles on. That's quite hard to get them on and glue them neatly, but I'm literally just picking up a bubble putting a dot of glue on the back and then dropping it on the thing. So I'm going to put some of these on. These are the frit balls we made before and they will also need to be solidly glued for about 20 minutes before I can put it in the frame. So here this is all in the box frame. As you can see I haven't put anything at the back because I like the feeling like it's slightly like an aquarium. That does mean if it's sitting on a table, you are gonna see the back. And perhaps I should have done these um, uh, glass bits slightly neater, but I still don't mind it from this side. I think it looks kind of interesting. Um, I love this piece. I kind of like the kind of aquarium feel. I've left the um, plastic, this is an Ikea box frame, and I've left the plastic in at the front. Um, I think you could almost do this piece and take the plastic out and just have it as a box frame and this sitting in. But for dust and stuff, it's quite good having the um, having the plastic out, having the plastic in to stop this piece getting dusty and then you're only dusting the frame. Um, I think this is a really interesting idea and I love the idea of kind of the aquarium feel in these box frames. And I'm like really looking forward to passing myself kind of what else I can do in a box frame. What other box frames can I find and make little aquariums in them? I hope you've enjoyed this idea too 
and I can't wait to see what you come up with and please if you'd like this video please subscribe.